Hello everybody, welcome back to the ACS YouTube channel. This is JJ once again, and we're bringing you something pretty cool. So today's Valentine's Day, February 14th, and as you guys know, uh, near and dear to my heart is PC gaming. So this is a great gift that we have to be able to show you guys. Uh, we've gone ahead and pinged our friends over at EA and Bioware, and they've sent us actually over the demo for Mass Effect 3. So this has been something that's uh, been gestating for quite some time. So for you guys that are interested in the exploits and the adventures of uh, Captain Shepard, we're gonna be actually showing you a little bit of the gameplay, what the demo looks like as well as how it runs on a uh, awesome new system that we've gone ahead and set up here so we've gone ahead and put together some pretty choice components to reflect uh, this this flagship title that's coming out from EA and Bioware so we've got our brand new Rampage 4 formula motherboard we have a 3930k uh, Intel Core i7 processor we've got our brand new 7970 direct CU2 graphics card and uh, we've got that all set up to run here on our brand new 2560 by 1440 QHD high definition panel. So uh, this guy's not yet out on the market, unlike the rest of the other components that we've just noted here. But we wanted to give you an actual kind of a preview of what this gameplay is going to look like at high resolutions exceeding 1080p, because that's where definitely a card like the 7970 is going to be able to shine. And in addition to that, the temperatures are actually going to be hotter at harder resolutions. So this will help to show you the kind of performance expectation you can see from our non-reference cooling design. So let's uh, go ahead and jump over to the desktop. And we're going to first take a look at a piece of software that we have on our system called GPU Tweak, which is shipping with our 7970 and 7950 graphics cards. Okay, so here we are on our desktop. We've got our GPU tweak software open. Uh, as you can see, we've got a lot of different panels available to us right off the bat. And the first one that we actually want to go ahead and take a look at is right here, here in the top left part of the actual monitoring screen. This is letting us know the actual idle temperatures for the card. So we can see right now we're essentially at an idle temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So card's running very cool. It's very quiet as you can see. We're solid, we're good to go, and we right now are running the card pretty much at stock parameters. So uh, that's been confirmed here by the integrated GPU-Z module. Now one of the great things about GPU Tweak is its easy ability to go ahead and overclock the card. So before we go ahead and jump into Mass Effect 3, we want to go ahead and bump up the formants a bit more. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this and switch it into advanced mode. And from there we're going to go ahead and clock up the card a bit. So we're going to go ahead and jump up to 1100 megahertz uh, for our core clock. And uh, for the GPU voltage, we're just going to bump that up a bit as well. So let's uh, go ahead and set it to 1150. Okay. And we've now successfully overclocked our card. Super easy, uh, very basic, no complications. And the fan speed, we're going to go ahead and just leave that to automatic because our uh, DC2 heat sink and fan assembly is going to go ahead and take care of us there. So from here, we're now going to go ahead and minimize this. And uh, we've already got fraps open to go ahead and monitor some, some gameplay and so record some gameplay for you guys. And we're going to jump straight into the demo. Okay, so we've gone ahead and gotten to the actually first part of the in-game play uh, here in Mass Effect 3's demo. And as you can see, we're set to 2560 by 1440. And we're going to go ahead and actually record some of this gameplay for you guys so you guys will be able to check this out. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of a preview of what Mass Effect 3 is going to be looking like. Uh, of course, uh, for you guys who want to check it out further, make sure to head over uh, to Origin where you can download the actual demo, take a look at it, and uh, give us your feedback. And uh, from here, we're just going to jump over to the desktop and take a look and see what temperature performance was looked like. We'll go ahead and open up here our GPU tweak, and we can see here that a GPU tweak, um, the highest that the actual temperature reached, even with our overclock configuration, at 2560 by 1440 was only 58 degrees Celsius, and as you heard, the system was essentially inaudible. Overall, the footprint in terms of the acoustics was the same at idle as it was under full load operation. So this really goes to show you that actually our DirectCU2 design, as well as the efficiency from our non-reference uh, non VRM, like our DigiPlus power design, and our SAP power component, is really giving you a great experience when you're talking about gaming, especially at upper end resolutions, and taking into consideration overclock configurations as well. So overall, like always, thanks guys for tuning into our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them here on the page or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. Thank you.